We now know that the React Native framework enables us to create native mobile applications that can run on both Android and iOS using just the JavaScript language. But wait, do you wonder what really happens under the hood? How does React Native process our JavaScript code to become a fully-fledged Android, iPhone, or iPad app? Let's first take a bird's eye view. It all starts on our code, which is written in JavaScript. The React Native process our source code and then generates an Xcode project as well as an Android project. These native mobile projects are already complete and ready to be run, to be built, or to be deployed to either the Play Store or App Store. Simple, isn't it? That is pretty much the whole development workflow of the React Native framework. Let's now take a more detailed look on what's really happening inside its processing engine. Earlier, in our overview lecture, I mentioned that the React Native is generating a true native mobile app and not just a hybrid or a web mobile app. I will explain here how it actually does this and how it connects and uses the native UI APIs. Your React Native project usually comes with two index.json files, the index.android.js file, which is apparently for Android, and the index.ios.js file for iOS. The React Native framework processes these index.json files including the other JavaScript source codes and bundles them with its own native bridge library, which then becomes either an Android or Xcode project. Unlike PhoneGap, Apache Cordova, or Ionic, which just generates a web view mobile app, the React Native engine is actually calling the same UI APIs that are also being used by the native mobile apps. This is also the major reason why React Native is much faster compared with other mobile development frameworks. The iOS and Android projects that were generated by React Native is truly native in nature. And because of that, you can also integrate native components that are written in Java, Objective-C, and Swift in your code base. 